Hello and welcome to our discussion about uh, solving linear systems. Uh, today we're going to talk about solving linear systems algebraically. There's another section on solving linear systems graphically. Uh, all right, so we want to solve a system of two linear equations by substitution and then we're going to solve by elimination. Uh, all right, so what, do, what does it mean to solve a system of linear equations algebraically. Uh, all right, so we've got a lot of words and potentially not a lot of understanding. So let's kind of go through what we mean by all of this. All right, so when we say solve a system of linear equations algebraically, solve means to find a point or no points of intersection um, as a coordinate. Linear equations are equations of lines, and a system means more than one. So we're going to find a point of intersection or not um, of equations of lines and it's going to include at least two of those lines and we're going to do that uh, algebraically all right so let's talk about the possible outcomes when we have two lines uh, so in solving there are three possible outcomes the first is if I have two lines and this is on a plane by the way uh, and you can represent this if you take uh, let's just say two rulers and put them on a floor, so some plane surface, and uh, then you can run them, assuming that, that both the rulers are lines, so they extend indefinitely. You can run them indefinitely in both directions, and they're either going to intersect at some point, in which case there would be one solution. Uh, so if I have two uh, lines that have different slopes, then you're going to end up with two intersecting lines that have one solution. Uh, second is if you have two parallel lines, then they don't intersect. Uh, and these equations must have the same slope and different y-intercepts. So in this case, I have two equations for two lines. Same slope of two, different y-intercept, four and one. Uh, that, that means that we have two parallel lines. And so you're going to end up with a solution that looks like something like uh, 1 is equal to 4, or something that's nonsensical, which means that there's no intersection, there's no solution. So when you solve, and we'll go through the process of solving, both through direct, uh, well, uh, through uh, elimination, and uh, through substitution. So uh, we said substitution and elimination. Those are the two ways that we're going to solve. And when we do that, you're going to find out a solution uh, that doesn't make sense. In that case, we have no solution. So the first is uh, one solution, the lines intersect. Second, I have two parallel, and that's when I have two lines with different slope slopes. Second is two parallel lines. They have the same slope but different y-intercept. And the last possible outcome is you have two of the same lines. So the same lines contain an infinite number of solutions because they overlap. So you have something like 2x plus 3y is equal to 6. You have the same slope, ultimately, and in the same y-intercept, and you'll end up with a solution something like uh, 0 is equal to 0, or 4 is equal to 4, something like that, where it's going to be true all the time. So when you have a solution that's represented this way, you know that you have the same line, and therefore you have an infinite number of solutions because the two lines overlap. So once again, we have three outcomes, two lines in a plane, one point of intersection, uh, no points of intersection, parallel lines, so uh, lines that intersect, one solution, parallel lines, no solutions don't intersect, same slope, different y-intercept, and then lastly, we have two of the same line, uh, lines, same slope, and the same y-intercept, and the solution is going to be represented uh, by something that is true all the time. All right, so let's talk about solving through substitution and elimination. So an algebraic solution, so this gets back to the fourth part of solving systems of linear equations algebraically. Uh, we're going to manipulate the equations to solve for one variable x or y and then solve for the other using substitution and elimination. Um, all right, so we're going to start with substitution first. Uh, so what we want to do in solving through substitution is we want to solve one equation for one variable, either x or y and then substitute the value into the other equation. So let me show you how that looks. So step one, I'm going to rewrite one equation, and I've chosen the second equation here. 
and I'm going to rewrite, and you can choose whichever one you want, whatever is simplest for you that ends up with integer values. Rewrite for uh, one variable in terms of the other. So when you write for one variable, you want this coefficient here for y uh, to be equal to 1. doesn't matter for x. If I'm writing for y in terms of x, then that value for y, the coefficient, uh, needs to be equal uh, to 1. <clears throat> and again, it doesn't matter for x in this case. If I were rewriting for x in terms of y, then the coefficient for x would need to be positive 1. Uh, all right, so I'm rewriting uh, for y in terms of x. y is equal to negative x plus 1. And now I'm going to take this equation, and I'm going to substitute it back into the other equation. So I've taken the second equation, rewritten it for one variable, and now I'm going to substitute that in, negative x plus 1, uh, which is equal to y, in for y into the second equation, and then I'm going to solve for x. So you can see here the work, 2x plus 5 times negative x plus 1, and uh, I end up with 2x minus 5x plus 5 is equal to negative 1. Solving for x, I get x is equal to 2. Now I can take that value, x is equal to 2, and I can substitute it now into any of the two equations and solve for y, and I will get the same result. Um, so I substitute it back into the first equation. So x is equal to 2 now, 2 times 2, plus 5y is equal to negative 1. 5y is equal to negative 5. y is equal to negative 1. So now I have my solution. x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 1. You can write it this way, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 1. Uh, my preference is that you write it as a coordinate because that is ultimately the solution that we're looking for. Uh, but either way is okay. Uh, all right, so I found my solution. These are two lines that intersect at one point. They have different slopes. All right, so that's the first of the third um, possible outcomes. Okay, so this brings us to... Uh, your second set of classwork. Uh, and this follows from uh, the graphing piece that you did. So you're, you had part one where we were solving by graphing, now we're solving algebraically. Uh, so in this particular lesson, this is the first, but as for classwork, uh, 1.4.2. And you're, again, so you're going to write this down, you're going to submit it to me as I define to you outside of this video. And your classwork problem is this, solve the system of linear equations by substitution. So I'm going to leave this up here for a moment. Okay, so now we want to talk about solving systems of linear equations through elimination. And uh, this is probably a process you've already been taught in uh, basic algebra. So you want to add and subtract uh, equations to and from each other to eliminate one variable and solve for the other. So you want to manipulate potentially these two equations so that when we uh, subtract them as you would uh, some uh, polynomial subtraction, which we'll go into later, uh, or subtraction through values, uh, multi-digit values, <clears throat> by lining them up uh, in a vertical fashion, uh, which again I will show you, you want to eliminate one variable and be left with another. All right, so I have these two values, two uh, equations for lines, and I want to multiply one or both of the equations by a constant so that the coefficient of one variable for both equations is equal in value and opposite in sign. All right, so I see 6x minus 8y is equal to 8. I have this other equation. What I want to do is I want to multiply uh, the second equation on the right here by negative 2. And so ultimately, when I multiply all the terms by that constant, I come up with the, the, same, uh, the same equation. It's just represented a little differently. Okay, so uh, I have for the second equation now is represented as negative 6 x plus 14y is equal to negative 20. Graphically, it's the same equation. All right, so now I want to line up uh, the two equations here. The first one is straight up. The second is the one that I multiply by negative 2. And then I'm going to add them together. And as you can see, when I add them together vertically, I've eliminated the value uh, for x. That's your desire. You want to eliminate one variable by adding the equations and solving for the other. 
So I end up with no x plus 6 uh, plus 6y is equal to negative 12. I solve for y. y is equal to negative 2. Now we can take this value, y is equal to negative 2. Now we can substitute it back in to either equation. We don't have to go through another step of elimination. Uh, we're going to substitute it back into either equation. In this case, I'm going to substitute it back in. The second equation solve for x and I end up with x is equal to negative 4 thirds. So negative 4 thirds. So this process first starts as elimination. I have to uh, find one term with a specific variable and make sure uh, for the first equation and the second equation, they're the same in value for the coefficient, but different in sign. I add them together. I eliminate one variable. I solve for the other. Then I use that uh, solution to substitute back in and solve for the second. So I'm going to substitute my answer for step number two into either equation and solve for the other variable. In this case, I have um, x is equal to negative 4 thirds. And so my equation or my solution now is going to be represented as an ordered pair, uh, negative 4 thirds, uh, negative 2. So write it in coordinate form, please, or it's okay if you write x is equal to negative 4 thirds, y is equal to negative 2. Uh, either one works, but this is my preference. Okay, so this brings us to our classwork 1.4.3. And I'm going to set this up for you. Uh, you can copy this down. You're going to solve a system of linear equations by elimination. And this brings us to the end of our video. So you have those three problems for this one section. Thanks for joining. Uh, so we've gone over solving systems of linear equations. Defined what that means. Uh, we solve them graphically. We solve them through substitution. And we solve them through elimination. Uh, and this is your last problem, so please copy it down. I'm going to stop the video uh, and come back next time uh, when we s introduce a new chapter. We're going to start talking about uh, quadratic uh, functions and uh, graphing quadratic functions and applications of quadratic functions.